my name is Rebecca Hall. I'm a graduate student at the University of Minnesota in the plant pathology department. This is the first of hopefully many outreach videos that the department's going to be releasing about diseases that we come in contact with. So the first disease is actually a sample that was submitted to the plant disease clinic on tomato. And the disease is bacterial canker. And it is caused by a bacteria known as Clavibacter michiganensis. And this bacteria is a really bad deal to find in your garden. If you're a grower, to find it in your crops. It's not a good one you wanna find. Um, it can lead to epidemics and can result in 100% crop loss. So symptoms you wanna look for in this disease are intervenal necrosis. And what I mean by that is you're actually going to see areas that have um, brown spots. And those brown spots are caused by dead plant tissue. Um, they can start from the margins, but for the most part, they're going to be in between the veins. Another way to diagnose this disease is to look at the pattern of the wilting. If they're a young sapling, the entire plant can become wilted. But if they're an older plant like this tomato that we have, it's going to start from the bottom of the plant and move slowly upwards towards the top of the plant. This plant, however, is obviously very wilted. Um, and that's just a consequence of having it being diagnosed in the disease clinic earlier this week. So it's a little bit of an old guy. He's been out of the water for a while. So that is the only reason that there's wilting in the whole plant. Um, earlier, it was a little bit farther down on the crop um, compared to the rest of it. So another way that you can diagnose this disease is to actually look at the wilting pattern um, that the leaves are experiencing. So for example, the petioles are going to remain, um, they're going to keep their trigger pressure. So they're still gonna be pretty stiff. And the, the petioles are actually the part of the leaf that attaches to the base of the stem. So that is going to remain um, stiff. It's going to keep its trigger pressure, whereas the leaf itself is going to be the part that's wilted and falling over. Another way that we as plant pathologists are going to diagnose this disease is actually looking for um, inside the stem, you will find browning. A typical tomato plant is not going to have browning in its, inside its stem, so this is also a telltale sign that you have something wrong with your tomato. And the browning is caused by the buildup of bacteria within the stem. And so when a sample like this comes into the disease clinic, we're going to actually take some of the disease plant tissue and put it on a microscope slide and look at it under a microscope for a sign known as bacterial ooze. Is You're actually going to be able to see the movement and the streaming of the bacterial cells out of the disease plant tissue. Clavibacter michiganensis, the bacteria, actually enters the plant through wounding. So for a management strategy, you want to try to avoid wounding the plant at any cost possible. Also, it's important to make sure that if you are using transplants or if you have seeds that you are using, that that plant has been, that seed or plant has been approved that it does not have the bacteria within it. When you are pruning and when you are dealing with the plants, it's also important to make sure you're being sanitary. So in between touching plant material, even if you don't know if you have the disease, it's important to make sure you're washing your hands and sanitizing your tools to make sure that you're not spreading it from one sick plant to a healthy one. Another test that we as plant pathologists will use to identify the pathogen is a essentially a pregnancy test for the disease. So we'll take up some of the ground up plant tissue, we'll stick it in a bag with buffer and stick the strip in it. And if it turns positive, that means we have Clavibacter michiganensis. If you think you have bacterial canker on your tomatoes, you should submit a sample to a disease clinic so they can use the proper diagnostic tools in a lab to determine if you have the disease. I am going to take this plant and for sure throw it in a autoclave to be sanitized and I will see you guys soon.